Hey there, I just wanted to give you a little update as to what I've been doing. Uh, I went ahead and got a uh, new uh, rotor and stator assembly. This one's a, a lot more uh, easy to make adjustments on the fly because it's got po four posts right here that allow me to slide my stator directly down and in place without having to screw it down each and every time I want to change a configuration. So today I've been, as you can see, all these holes here. I've been, uh, I must have done about 15 different configurations for about five hours a day, trying to uh, basically see if I can get any movement at all in this new static configuration. What I have here is 12 magnets all angled, one side stepping the bracket on the, uh, or back stepping the bracket on the other uh, side to create a little angle. But what I'm finding is, uh, like, there's no metal in this one. I use metal to uh, hold the magnets in place and uh, give me a little bit of uh, buffering. See, these are way too far apart. I'm not getting the effect I wanted. I wanted to pull in, attract in, and push out with the back end. And uh, so, yeah, just want to show you what I'm up to. Still trying to, you know, do the uh, magnet motor thing without any electricity added in. But uh, this one's a different uh, setup, so I'm happy with that so far and how customizable it is. I could just pull it out, change something, push it back in because you can't be changing stuff when it's all screwed down. Magnets won't stay in the proper spot. It's just hell. And uh, it's kind of dark right there, but there's my old system for the candy cane configuration. I was playing around with this. Uh, basically, I had a spoon on a, on a, on a thong, uh, not a thong, a tong. <laughs> and I was, uh, when it would go around, it, was, it, would, it would pull itself down when it got to the strongest magnet and block it. And the idea was to have it pop up and go on again. But uh, the, the timing on that was all wrong, but Anyways, that's my update. This is, I'm really happy with this. I'll probably be adding some metal to this so I can get magnets right beside each other and close the gap in and try some more configurations. All right, my friends, take care.